Hi there, music lovers. This is John of Hornsmasher.com. And if you're new to flute playing, I'm here to help you get off to a great start with some basic information regarding the care of your instrument. We're going to do this in three easy steps, showing the proper assembly, disassembly, and daily maintenance you should be doing on your flute. Along the way, I'll show you some tips of some common mistakes to avoid. So if you're ready, let's get to it. Let's open the case and begin with the names of the different parts. The head joint is the part that you blow into. Next is the main body. And last is the foot joint. So it's easy to remember head joint, body joint, and foot joint. The instrument should be assembled the same way every time. A set routine ensures a consistent result. The parts that connect the joints together are called the tenons, and we need to be sure that they are clean before assembly. Sometimes there will be grit, dirt, or other contaminants that will cause the parts to jam. For this, we use our official Hornsmasher.com cleaning cloth, and all we need to do is twist this around the tenons on both the head joint and the main body to ensure that they are clean. Should I use any type of grease on these joints like they do on a clarinet? Flute is a little different because it has metal to metal connectors. Any grease you would put on there would only attract dirt and cause the parts to jam. We just want the tenons to be clean and dry. To begin the assembly, we pick up the main body of the flute and we wrap our hands around the top of the flute, being sure that we're not putting our hands over the keys. Next, we pick up our head joint and we line it up straight with the main body and we push it together with a twisting motion. It's important that we never put the flute together with a rocking back and forth motion. This will damage the flute. Next, we turn the flute over and hold it again around the top, and we pick up our foot joint, holding it around the bottom, and just like with the head joint, we line it up straight with the body, and we push it together with a twisting motion. The final step is the alignment of the parts. Some flutes will have alignment marks to help you with this. The foot joint is aligned by turning the pieces until the two triangles point at each other. The head joint can also be aligned by turning the head joint so that the triangular index mark lines up with the logo on the head joint. If your flute has no index markings, you can still align the parts by simply holding the flute up, siding down the body, and turning the head joint so that the hole in the lip plate lines up with the main bank of keys. Then we turn it over and turn the foot joint so the large spatula key here lines up with the last post on the main body. That should do it. Okay, so when we are done playing, we simply reverse the procedure, making sure to take the pieces apart with the same twisting motion we did during assembly. When you play your flute, you're creating a very humid atmosphere, both inside and outside the flute. This moisture contains sugars and acids that will cause bacteria to grow if not cleaned out. I recommend you use your flute loop swab, as well as our new Horn Smasher flute body swab cloth to clean this out before putting the instrument away. We begin by simply putting a corner of the rag through the loop swab and pulling it halfway through. We place our swab in one end and pushing the swab all the way through, taking it out the other side. Next, we do our foot joint. Same thing, we put it in one end, push it all the way through and out the other side. The last part is the head joint, which we can't push all the way through because there's a stopper at this point. For that, we push the swab in gently hit bottom and pull the swab back out. Our last step is to wipe our fingerprints off the flute before we put it away in the case. 
We begin by using our cleaning cloth to wipe down the large areas of the flute. Next, we wipe down the tops of the keys only. We do not want to rub on the sides of the keys because this will damage the pads. And we do not want to polish underneath the keys as this will damage the springs. When putting your flute away, the cleaning rod fits in a groove in the case, and your case has defined areas for each part of your flute. The last step is to put your cleaning rags on top of your flute and close your case. Well, music lovers, that about wraps it up. This is Horn Smasher John, reminding you that following this daily routine will help you have many years of problem-free service and will keep your instrument sounding great. All of the materials used in this video are available in my official hornsmasher.com flute care kit, which is available for purchase on this website. See ya!